Hey human Latiosites, this is Latios Azubril and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let us begin. So here we are in Rosia Center. Last time we took care of Agron and Lairon. This time I guess we're going after Timpole. So, going with that Mega Gengar set with Verizon, Shaman, and Lugia. So, 13 moves to win this thing. So, basically, let's just use this Lugia to get rid of these Timpoles right off the bat. Now, I think I want to get that Mega Evolution off. So, there are more Timpoles in the field, so let's actually just get rid of them with Lugia. We have the Power of 4 Plus we can go for. Now, I just want to get that Mega Evolution off. So, we're going to get that Mega Evolution off, and now we're probably be going to be able to get some combos. Of course, there are still some temples there, but maybe we can get them. But on the other hand, this thing has low enough health that itemless, we're going to have no problem with beating it. So with that, we are going to take down that temple with six moves remaining. Which is quite nice indeed. So, let's see if we can catch this thing. There's a catchability of 20%. Let's go for that Pokeball. And, come on. Give me that click. Yes. Alright, so with that, we are going to capture Timpole. And we're going to get that S rank. It has an attack power of 40, that water typing, and the ability Astonish. With that, we have S rank captured Timpole. Timpole? Timepole? Either way. Next up is going to be Nose Pass. Alright, you know what? Let's... You know what? I think... I'm gonna wanna go for... Hmm. Where is that Jirachi? Because we're gonna wanna get that Mega Evolution all quickly, and from what I heard, there's gonna be... quite a few Unbreakable Blocks in here, so Dialga would probably be useful, as well as that Mega Steelix. So, let's do this. Alright, we have 13 moves to do this. Yeah, there are a bunch of blocks at the top. Those of you who gave me advice, thank you for that. <laughs> that said... Hmm. I want to get that um, Mega Boost Plus off. So... Alright, yeah, we're not going to break any of those blocks with Dialga. I... Okay. We need to get that Mega Evolution off now. Let's go for Jirachi. Unfortunately, get the, we're not going to get that Mega Evolution off quite yet. Let's go for Jirachi again. Once again, we're not going to get that Mega Boost Plus, but let's go for one more Jirachi. Or we just... Okay. So then we're going to get the Mega Evolution off. That's kind of nice. Let's go for the Steel to just get rid of those blocks already. Now we can get some serious combos. Alright. Of course, we only have five more moves. This kind of... This is a situation, alright? Alright, so... We're already not going to get the S rank this time, unfortunately, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Maybe we can catch it. That would be kind of nice, I suppose. So with that, we are going to take down that nose pass. The question is, can we catch it? Well, there's only one way for us to find out now, isn't there? So, all right, come on, give me a good catchability, please. 23%. Eh, it could be worse. 46% in the Great Ball. Those odds are, yeah, it's a coin toss. Okay, so with that, let's do this. Come on. Come on, nose pass. Stay in the ball, please. Really nothing to lose by throwing a great ball at it. Come on, nose pass. Please stay in the ball. There we go. So with that, we caught nose pass. We didn't get the ass rank. We only got an A rank, but that's fine. It has the ability block smash plus the rock typing. With that, we now have nose pass. So, next up is Floet. All right. I kind of want to get that S rank, though. I would like to go for Mawile to get the, uh, to, to get more combos, but I kind of need to get rid of those blocks in the top. A plus five move should be able to do it, considering how it went last time. Actually, I think we would have missed it by one last time, but either way, with that, we're getting some luck with Jirachi, which is kind of nice, because we got the Mega Evolution off pretty quickly, which is really nice. Style it seems to be helping out really well. Now... I think it's time for Steelix to start doing some work. 
Unless... Yeah, I think... Well, I think we'll go Steelix. I need to get rid of these blocks while they're up and get some more combos. One of the nice things about this is there are blocks in the Skyfall, which lets Steelix do some serious work, which is really nice when you think about it. Okay, we only have, like, we only have, like, four more moves until the S rank is... Wait, how many moves do we have? I can't remember how many moves we started with. That said... I think Steelix is just the way to go for right now while there's blocks on here. Then we can get some combos, which we do seem to be getting. Alright. I guess Jirachi can do some, uh, some damage and get some combos here. Alright, so with that, we are gonna get the S rank, no problem. There we go. Nine news remaining. That's an S rank if I've ever seen one. No problem there. So, with these stages, luckily, plus five moves seems to be doing some nice work for us, which is definitely appreciated. So with that, we're gonna get an S rank on, on Nose Pass. Alright, so, let's move on to the lovely Floet. Alright, that said... I mean... From what I heard, there's not as many... Um, there's not that much with the block, with the unbreakable blocks, so I think we'll go Mawile. Hmm. Alright. Or... Hmm. You know what? There are barriers to get rid of, so I guess Palkia could be, uh, could, could come in handy, so yeah. Alright. Yeah, I should have gone Mawile. Well, either way, let's, let's just deal with what we have. Let's deal with what we have. Alright, so, unfortunately, Jirachi. Jirachi, why couldn't we just trigger that, that turn? Why can't you get trigger your Mega Boost Plus? Alright, either way, I guess Palkia is still going to be useful, even if it's not super effective. Kind of funny we're using two dragons against a fairy. Alright. Um, alright, at least we're triggering Jirachi now. Come on, okay. I think Jirachi can... Yeah, there we go. Ugh, why do these barriers have to be at the top? I get the Mega Evolution off, not that it makes a real difference, considering. But, we can get... Yeah, there we go. That's good. Now we can just get some combos, and that would be nice indeed. Definitely should have gone for that Mega Mawile. But, alas. I make mistakes. I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Um... Let's do this. Alright, well, we already missed the S rank, but maybe we can get the capture. So that'll get rid of that barrier, and there we go. So with that, we are going to defeat Floet with four moves remaining. I mean, I guess it could be worse. We're not gonna, we obviously didn't get the S rank, but maybe we can get the capture. That would be convenient. Catchability of 20%, so it's less than a coin toss with a Great Ball. We're not going to catch this in the Pokeball, let's be honest. Yeah, there we go. Alright, come on. Stay in the Great Ball, please. Come on, Floet. You know you want to be caught. You know you want to be caught. Come on. Come on. Ugh. You know what? If you can do this itemless, it's not worth two Great Balls. I am going to go for that... Um, great ball re um, refund policy because because why not it's there so why not use it it's not worth 5,000 coins so with that let's do this again come on flow act but I am definitely going for that ma while this time there is no way Steelix is getting another chance no offense Steelix no offense whatsoever all right, let's do this. All right. Also, I'm gonna use that plus five moves because 
I want to get the S rank this time. I'm going for the S rank. We're doing it this time. We are gonna do it. I I believe. I believe. All right. Let's do this. Maybe we can get the Mega Evolution off quickly. All right. Come on. Okay. That's, that kind of sucks. We're not gonna get that Mega Boost Plus now. We can get the Mega Evolution off. There we go. All right. Now we have the Mega Evolution. Now we can have some real fun. All right. Still a bunch of barriers up though, unfortunately. But I think we can. Ugh, why couldn't you trigger that Palkia? Oh, all right. There we go. Of course, there's still that one at the top. But if we can get any luck, maybe a Dialga can actually trigger there. Why do you have to put these barriers at the top, at? Why? Come on. All right. Here we go. Now it's just Mawile all day. Yeah, we can get the S rank this time, no problem. All right. I think one more move should do it. There we go. All right. So with that, we are gonna take down Floette with 11 moves remaining. I am fairly certain that is an S rank. The question is, can we catch this thing? Okay, so it's gonna have a catchability of 26%. That is a little better than a coin toss in a great ball. So come on, Floette, stay in the ball, please. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go for a great ball. I'm gonna go for it. Alright, come on, Floet, stay in the ball, please. I know you want to. There we go. There's that click. With that, we caught Floet. It has... There's the S rank. It has an attack power of 50 with a fairy typing and the ability Cloud Clear. So, perhaps you want to get rid of those black clouds of the fairy type. Who knows? But with that, we S rank captured Floet. Alright, so it looks like next up is going to be Mandibuzz, but we are unfortunately out of hearts. So, at some point, maybe we can go after... Why did I do that? At some point, maybe we can go after Gliger and try to actually catch that thing, even though so far we are S-ranking stuff, I guess at a decent-ish rate, maybe? I don't know. But, next time we are definitely going to be going after this Mandibuzz and hopefully having a little bit of luck and whatever comes afterward. I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!